Hello food fans, we're going to have a bologna sandwich today and we're going to have some ingredients with it that will uh, make it a uh, mighty fine lunch and it'll probably still come in for about three dollars total uh, after we consider the cost of the bologna and the uh, bread. I, I'm going to use whole wheat bread and also I will have a salad which will be coleslaw with added tomato and carrot and I will have a secret dessert. So let's get started! We are frying up the bologna with the potatoes. I'm going to turn everything over here in the pan. Let it cook a little bit longer. I like fried bologna. And um, we will only have one fried bologna sandwich because we've got a uh, pretty huge serving of dessert coming up. And it is hot, but uh, still cooked the way I like it. What I'm going to do is uh, be very careful if you have uh, kids there, parents, be sure to keep them away from the stove and the pan. Very hot. Burn the fingers. And the bread costs about uh, 15 to 18 cents a slice. So we'll say, we'll say 40 cents uh, for the bread and the bologna comes out to about 20 cents per slice. So uh, we'll say 20, 20, 20 and the potatoes maybe another 20 cents. Probably under a dollar for all of the sandwich and the potatoes. And uh, for the coleslaw, with added tomatoes and carrots, uh, maybe 30, 40 cents. And we'll have some root beer and uh, some dessert that I'll show you later on. Surprise, surprise, secret dessert coming up. I'm going to put the bologna onto the bread. I'm going to put some relish oops, onto the bread. It's a beautiful day here in Tennessee. Life is going well. Choo choo trains going by. About uh, once a year in central Tennessee, someone, a pedestrian, gets hit by a train. And what can happen with a train, this is just something for your information in case you haven't thought about it. If you're walking, between two railroad tracks and you're walking down this way and the train comes by you and you hear the sound of the train over there and you're walking, you continue to walk in the same direction the train is going and there's nothing coming toward you. But what you don't know is there's a train coming behind you that can hit you and you won't hear it because you'll think it's the sound of the train that's next to you. So if you're walking near the railroad tracks, find a different place to walk. This is the uh, coleslaw. And uh, talk a little bit about uh, acting and the pay for actors. There's coleslaw with extra potato, or extra tomato, and carrots. Coleslaw tastes good. This coleslaw came from uh, Kroger. This is ketchup. I think this came from Aldi. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. But I have seen reports that ketchup will be one of the items that will disappear from the grocer shelves when items start disappearing. But uh, I don't know anything about that. The uh, grocery shelves have been empty here and there 
fried potato. Very hot, very delicious. Now we'll try the fried bologna sandwich. If you haven't had fried bologna, you might want to try it. It's pretty good, and as you can see, it's low cost. How much does a movie star make, or an actor, or an extra? That always depends on the situation where you are, what country you're in, what the situation is there. I'll tell you a little bit about Southern California area where I worked as an, ex an extra in the 1980s. Also, I worked in Las Vegas, uh, 1970s, late 1970s. Last time I worked a big production was um, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang in the year 2005. I was Abe Lincoln in a scene toward the end of that movie. I worked with a dog. The amount of money I got paid for that uh, <clears throat> scene back in 2005, I was working as an extra doing a silent bit, and I would have uh, received approximately $200 for the day. And no residuals on that. I got a cup here for a beverage. The beverage is going to be <clears throat> part of the secret dessert. Let me pour some root beer into the beverage container. Now, right up about half. Half a cup there. And get something else to put in there. Let me put this down here. Let me get this. Excuse my reach. Glad you could make it uh, come visiting for lunch today. This is ice cream. This is Kroger's Death by Chocolate ice cream. I'm going to put some chocolate ice cream into the root beer and some more chocolate ice cream into the root beer. And maybe a little bit more chocolate ice cream into the root beer. So this is a combination of beverage Dessert. Mmm. This is good. A little bit more root beer in there. This is called a black cow. At least it used to be when I was a kid. And you can use vanilla ice cream, strawberry, whatever you want to use. And we'll uh, top it off here with some whipped topping. Did a bit of whipped topping on it. And even with all this, The per serving price for this meal is probably <clears throat> still well under $5. And in today's 
world, a $5 meal is a uh, luxury. Mmm. Fried bologna sandwiches. I definitely recommend them. You can eat them with uh, white bread or wheat bread. Wheat bread supposedly be, would be more healthful. I'm going to get a straw for the uh, root beer. I have a straw. I'm going to use it to get a sip of the root beer with the chocolate ice cream in it, the uh, Death by Chocolate. Working <clears throat> in the movies as an extra. <clears throat> I was a busy extra. I was one of the busiest in Southern California in the 1980s. And when I worked, I worked for the uh, union scale. And in the late 70s, it used to be about $62 a day. Then it kept increasing to uh, 80 and 90 and a silent bit would have been about $150 in the mid-1980s. Let me get some more um, bologna sandwich here. And if you were a stand-in, you got paid an extra $10 for that. Um, if you did a dancing scene, chances are you got $10 more for that. If you rode a horse in the Western, you get $10 above scale. Uh, someone once told me on a set, if they ask you if you want to ride a horse, just say no. It says the money's on the ground, which meant that if you want to be upgraded to a speaking part or a silent bit that comes along, those higher paying roles are more likely to be given to someone who is not on a horse. Conversation will go on without the horse being there to listen to it. The last time I checked, it cost about $3,000 initiation fee to get into the Screen Actors Guild after SAG slash AFTRA. You can go to their site, sagaftra.org. And you can read about how to become an extra or how to become an actor, how to get into the union. And you might want to move to Southern California. They make more movies in California than they do in Louisville, Kentucky. So I left Louisville, Kentucky, moved to California. It took me 23 years to get into actually working as an extra. But I quickly started getting better and better extra parts. And those parts paid much better. More root beer. Try some of my ice cream <clears throat> and whipped cream. This is messy.
very, very good taste. Uh, black cow, root beer, and ice cream is a very excellent combination. 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 If you do stage plays, or uh, other kinds of acting other than union covered roles in TV, movies, and commercials. If you do something else, like you're on stage and you're doing stand-up comedy or you're a musician in a band, that's not covered by the SAG union uh, rules. You have to get into other, they have a musician union. Um, if you work a stage play, you just simply won't get as much money as you could get in a movie because a movie budget is much higher. A lot of big name actors do stage work that doesn't pay them very much money. They like the challenge <clears throat> of doing live theater or live comedy. If you're a funny guy or gal, come up with a comedy routine, go to an open mic, and if you really are good, you'll eventually work your way up to a, a club that pays good money whether it's Las Vegas or any major city. Bologna sandwich is good. The most money I ever made in any one day working as an extra on the extra uh, Back when they had Screen Extras Guild, the union for extras, I worked a commercial where I made $800, and I made about $800 with Golden Time on Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Golden Time is when an actor works beyond 16 hours a day. If you work Past that mark, you'll be getting a day's pay for each hour that you're staying. If they still pay the same way, which they probably do. If you look like a certain actor or actress, contact <coughs> the actor or actress, write to them at uh, either Screen Actors Guild or find out who their representative is. Uh, you can probably find it on online. Just put down the actor or actress's name and then put represented by and see who represents the actor or actress. And if you look like them, really look like them, they might be interested in having you work as a photo double. It's possible. I've known people who worked as photo doubles and they really look like the person they're supposed to be photo doubling. Time for some ice cream. Got whipped cream and ice cream. And Root beer. This looks good. Don't want to get it on my shirt. Doesn't that look good? Death by chocolate has hunks of chocolate. 
It's like you're eating a Hershey bar when you're eating the ice cream. Thanks for coming by for a visit. Hope you enjoy fried bologna sandwiches and coleslaw and dessert. Mm. Thank you for watching.